The turf isn't quite as hallowed as the MCG, but a new housing estate at Rockbank has made its mark in the cricketing world. The streets have been named in honour of some of the game's greats, but as Tony Jones discovered, legends like Don Bradman hit a roadblock. Welcome back to Rockbank. Marvellous conditions. This housing estate, around 40 kilometres from the city, might well be the new home of cricket. When it comes to luring the big names, it's streets ahead. At the moment there will be at least probably 12 or 13 of them are named after cricketers. Because of Kurram Saeed's Pakistan heritage, the subcontinent is well represented here, from Sachin Tendulkar to Virat Kohli, or, as some would say... From Suchin Tendulkar to Virat Kohli. Kohli Crescent is actually trumping all others when it comes to house prices. They go for about anywhere between thirty dollars to $40,000 more. Uh, but the, the bigger blocks, you're going to have nice sort of double-storey houses on it. On every corner there's cricket royalty. Interest in McGrath Way, which was opened by the great man himself, is gathering pace. If you slip down War Street, chances are you'll get caught at a dead end near Hadley Street. And just a short cover drive from Dev Terrace is Meandad Street. But sometimes the umpire's decision, council, went against them. The main street I wanted to call Bradman, uh, obviously being, being the greatest, but we couldn't get that. Uh, we couldn't get Lily because apparently the, the guy who lives next door, his last name is Lily, so, so it just goes through that culling process. With homes selling from around $400,000, buyers are on a pretty good wicket. At least that's the sales pitch report. And you can see that there's a fair cover of grass across the ground, one or two little... Uh, thick patches but, uh, and a lot rolled into the surface, but it's nice and firm on the top and pretty flat. But the quirkiness doesn't end with cricket. About six k's away from Rockbank, developers are giving a nod to some of the world's most famous monuments. Between them, these two estates are making every post a winner. Tony Jones, Nine News. Uh, Marvellous. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> now, we've got some sport for us as yeah, well. Yeah, and good news is hitching a highway, almost complete. <laughs> <laughs> no. I bet it's told. Anyway, thanks, Pete. <laughs>